Welcome back to Dax for Humans. My name is Greg Deckler, and today we will be creating our first visual in Power BI. So in the last video, we entered some data, um, and I gave a brief tour of the desktop. In this video, we'll be actually be using that data to create uh, a visual or two in Power BI. So if you already have Power BI desktop open, then you're all set to go. Otherwise, go ahead and launch it from your task bar, which you should have it pinned there. I am going to go ahead and go to the file menu here and open up episode three. That's where I entered some data around pickles, bananas, and grapefruit. And as you can see here, we have our four columns that we created and we have our data that's loaded up here. Um, just very simple data. Okay, even with this simple data, we can still create visuals in Power BI. And the easiest way is just click on a blank area of the canvas here, and then just start clicking on some fields. So I'm going to click on the item, and Power BI, based upon the type of data that's in here, is going to pick, uh, try to pick a visual. In this case, it shows, because it was text, it shows a table visual. And as you can see, it automatically does an aggregation. So basically, even though a pickle shows up in my data more than once, it's only showing the distinct values. So banana, grapefruit, and pickle. And it's actually sorting these alphabetically for right now. Now we can add to our table visual by just simply clicking on, for example, price. And again, it's doing a sum or an aggregation. Now if we don't want it to do that, Right, so it's adding up, you know, my uh, $2.99 and, and uh, $4.99 and, and $3.99. So if I don't want it to do the sum, I can actually go over here, click this little down carrot I icon. So it's right here, right next to the X. I can click that, and I can say don't summarize. And so now I've got bananas are at $2.99, grapefruits are $4.99, and pickles are $3.99. And again, I can click on quantity. And again, it's summing if I don't want it to sum. I can come over here and say don't summarize. And now as you can see, it's actually expanded my table out because there's unique values for quantity uh, versus price when it was this, all the pickles are the same and the bananas are the same. Now it's kind of added the rows to my table. So something important to keep in mind about a lot of visuals in Power BI, it's gonna do, <clears throat> it's gonna try to, try to do intelligent things or what it thinks are intelligent things um, where it's try not to duplicate data so, but once I add it in quantity where all of these uh, numbers are different for pickle and they're different for banana, now it's showing me all of those rows. Now, if I want a different visual, then all I have to do is come over here to this visualizations pane and I can just pick a different visual. So, for example, we could pick something like a, oh, we'll pick a, a, a clustered column chart. Now again, it's going to try to do simple things, and, and it's going to try to make guesses. Um, but I put a small multiples in that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the small multiples, and put my price in my y-axis. And so now, so it's that easy to kind of configure your visuals in Power BI. You can just move things around. Um, you can make them sum or not sum. It's up to you. Or if you want maximums or average. And for example, for the price, I'm probably going to choose like the average since I know they're all the same for each item. You can resize your visuals. And now I have a clustered column chart where if I hover over the grapefruit, it shows me that the average price is $4.99, the average price is $3.99 for pickle, and the average price is $2.99 for banana. All right, so that's, as e that's how easy it is to create visuals in Power BI. Um, not very difficult. And uh, we'll be exploring this in a lot more depth in later videos. But that is all for this episode. And next episode, we'll actually start writing DAX. So stay tuned and hope to see you next time.